Automobile Zettore Bugatti was a high-performance car company based in Germany and then France. Founder Ettore Bugatti was born in Milan, Italy, and the automobile company that bears his name was founded in 1909 in Milsheim located in the Alsace region which was part of the German Empire from 1871 to 1919. The company was known both for the level of detail of its engineering in its automobiles, and for the artistic manner in which the designs were executed, given the artistic nature of Ettore's family. Ettore Bugatti was transferred abroad during the war, first to Milan and then to Paris, but as soon as hostilities ended, he returned to his Mulsheim workshop. Bugatti was able to secure a display at the 15th Paris Automobile Exhibition in October 1919, less than four months after the Versailles Treaty cemented the transfer of Alsace from Germany to France. He displayed three light automobiles, each having the same overhead camshaft four-cylinder 1,368cc engine with four valves per cylinder and closely based on their pre-war counterparts. The smallest of the three was a Type 13 with a race body, built by Bugatti themselves, and a 2000 mm, 78.7 in, wheelbase chassis. A Type 22 and a Type 23 with wheelbases of 2250 and 2400 mm, 88.6 and 94.5 in, respectively were the others. In early Grand Prix racing, the business had considerable success, in 1929, a privately entered Bugatti won the first ever Monaco Grand Prix. Jean-Pierre Wimille's racing success resulted in him winning the 24 Hours of Le Mans twice, in 1937 with Robert Benoist and 1939 with Pierre Veron. In racing, Bugatti cars were tremendously successful. At its first race, the Bugatti Type 10 swept the top four positions. One of the most successful racing automobiles was the Bugatti Type 35, which debuted in 1924. The Type 35 was created by Bugatti in collaboration with master engineer and racing driver Jean Chassagne, who also raced the car in its maiden Grand Prix at Lyon in 1924. From 1925 to 1929, Bugatti swept to victory in the Targa Florio five times in a row. Louis Chiron won the most championships in Bugatti automobiles, and Bugatti Automobiles SAS named the 1999 Bugatti 18 thirds Chiron concept car after him. But it was Jean-Pierre Wimille and Pierre Veron's final racing victory at Le Mans in 1939 that is remembered the most, they won the race with only one car and limited resources. Ettore Bugatti became involved in the development of a racer plane in the 1930s, seeking to beat the Germans in the Deutsche de la Morte competition. This is the Bugatti 100p, which was never flown. Louis de Monge, a Belgian engineer, designed it after using Bugatti Brescia engines in his Type 7.5 lifting body. The Mulsheim factory was destroyed during World War II, and the corporation lost possession of the property. Bugatti proposed a new facility in Levallois, a northwestern suburb of Paris, during the war. Bugatti created and planned to manufacture a variety of new cars after World War II, including the Type 73 road car and Type 73C single-seat racing car, but only five Type 73 cars were built. When Ettore Bugatti died on August 21, 1947, the development of a 375cc supercharged automobile came to a halt. Following Ettore Bugatti's death, the company continued to decline and made its final appearance as a separate entity at the Paris Motor Show in October 1952. Bugatti's first iteration terminated operations in 1952 after a long decline. 